What's up guys and gals, K1SBL here and you're tuned in to K1's K-Pop Sessions. This morning we got our girls back from m &H Entertainment, Bandits. Uh, we're gonna check out their comeback. Uh, they're releasing a new album, I already forgot what the album was called, but their their new song that they're releasing is called Dumb. <laughs> Quite the title track for their, Nick, for their new album, so let's go ahead and check it out here. And um, let's let's go. So we have them here on uh, V Live. Check out V Live, guys, because there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, you can uh, find your favorite. Hopefully, you can find your favorite bands here and um, get to it, man. Get on V Live. So we're gonna go to V Live. So there's M and H Entertainment, and then uh, Bandit. If you didn't know, they they had a new channel. Uh, on their last comeback with Dramatic, they released their new, um, their new uh, V Live channel here. So this is fairly new, and uh, we're gonna check it out from here. So they got the teasers, they got lives, and all sorts of uh, promotional videos upcoming to the uh, album. The album's called B, B, like B with the exclamation point. So all right, let's check it out. Dumb Bandit. M and H Entertainment. I went backwards. M and H Entertainment's Bandits with a uh, dumb, dumb. Holy moly! It just pops right off. Can I have some time to switch it? Let's go. Very uh. I was gonna say like spacious, spaced out. Yeah, it's pretty loud. Let me turn it down to my ears too, as well as yours. I was missing some choreo there. We'll go back there. So far, we had the uh, the usual tropical, the momentum uh, intro. Those drums. Uh, do -do -do -do. <laughs> And then these two four snaps. I don't know why that just hit me, but Red Velvet had a song called Dum Dum, and then this one's just called Dumb. Is it just like a somewhat a sequel? These synthesizers are very uh, deep. <laughs> Rough, rugged and raw as I like to say. Deep synthesizers into this very relaxing pre-chorus, is it? Got the girl Yi Yun. No, that's not that's Yi Run. Wait, am I forgetting their names? Got Jung, uh, Song Hee. Whoa, I'm freaking in there, dude. Leader Song was the young. Maknae Sung Eun, Sung Eun. Whoa. It's forgetting their names. So far, the, uh, Oh, song view, visuals. So this is another like performance style. I like how they're promoting with the uh, choreography, with the good visuals. I like the stage that they're dancing on. Oh. Had an extra scene there. Got Shimyeon. I like uh, I like Song Ki's uh, little stage there. Very elegant. Yeah, this thing right here. Ooh man, 
very as i say rough rugged and raw <laughs> so that's cool so dramatic had like a full-on performance style mv this one was pretty much the same thing with a little bit of uh cut scenes here and there like this scene right here with uh song -hee. um very i don't know where mnh's entertainment is going with this because in the very first uh music video they went like to locations and shots and st stuff like that they're keeping this very like just i guess sort of enclosed in like studios and stuff like that now they're i don't know they're kind of not expanding out but they're coming in it, kind of, it feels like <laughs> i like the uh location shots but that's just me it's just um uh, um i just like seeing scenery of korea of course we're we're not from korea so <laughs> we just like seeing korea promoting their country and stuff like that really cool and, and all these music videos that not just uh bandit but like all these music videos that you see of like k-pop they're a lot of them have like location shots they'll, they'll travel out to like the different parts of the world too and like that's what the uh that's what the media is all about too right you go on instagram you you like follow these people that like travel and then you got these pictures everywhere but here you got these nice studios don't i mean not to discredit that um the scenery is very beautiful um but yeah it just feels like they're they're limited to just um just studio shots and such but as i said uh, really nice really nice studio shots all right let's go again because we didn't pay attention the first time <laughs> we weren't given our full attention very spacious, exotic <laughs> opener. These instrumentals. Look at this thing, like that thing, that circular thing. That's really cool. Studio. And only having a studio. Oh, they use that as a backdrop. I'm pretty sure this is like so loud. Why did it get loud again? It's like so loud in my ear. <laughs> We're gonna go back. Just because. So there's that thing that they started off in. The choreo popping off. Songy. Shimbyong. So they're making use of their props here. See these like, like elegant little studio shots. The bounce! The bounce on the ground, jeez. The fruit fruit truck. <laughs> There's some things that I just don't know. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's just all up in this session here. Yeah, so some of these guys like fruit truck. He's got like these pillars off to the side. So yeah, really nice studios. Got leader Sama Yiyun. Oh, Jungwoo. Jungwoo vocal kills. Vocal killer. I like this part. It's very calm, relaxing. And then the bounce. Woo. Killing it with the bounce. <laughs> the colors are very, uh, very vibrant in this music video. Listen to that trap in the background. The uh, snares. The rapid fire snares. Very cool pattern to the snares, too. Oh, the aspect ratio opened up. Just realized everything's open now. Yeah, just one thing, the color combinations in this music video are very well balanced. Very dark and you got this purple, you got this like gold. Purple and gold seem like the uh, the theme of it. Then you got this white with the fragile, fragile lines. <laughs> yeah, look, it turned from gold to purple. Dude, this guy is hairy. My cat. Ooh. 
very cool visuals here. So yeah, even though everything is set in the studio, really cool visuals here. Yeah. I mean, there is a there's other music videos that are just studio stuff. So, um, Adios of uh, Everglow is all studio shots. Really cool. All right, guys, that is Bandit with their new album coming out with B with the exclamation point. And uh, yeah, check it out, Bandit. Our girls, um, coming back here. Is this going up earlier? No, I hope not. Time to wake up. Anyways, this uh, session is now over. Check us out in next session and uh, check out more Bandit on. Uh, oh yeah, wait, hold on. Before we go out, let's uh, see who the uh, let's see who the uh, the song producers are. I had Mel in here. <laughs> hold on, really quick. Before session is not over yet. Focus, focus, dramatic, dumb. We got it right here. And then uh, let's go. They put it as R and B, really. Ellie Sue of Jumbus. Whoa! Uh, Ashley Alicia's, uh, I guess, um, a co worker or somebody, um, label mate. Uh, label? Are they a label? LDN Noise and Judith Wake. Pull Karen Ann and LDN Noise. So check these names out. And uh, my cat. Come on, cat. <laughs> But yeah, check out these song producers. If you enjoyed these sounds, uh, check them out on Melon. You can you can click on them and then see what other uh, what other stuff they they do. Click on Gok, which is song. And as you can see, they worked on Cherry Itzy and now Bandit Dumb. So if you enjoyed Cherry Itzy and you liked Dumb, there's a connection there. It's because um, Ellie Sue. Of Jumbus 153 Jumbus um had a piece of that action there. Alright guys, now session is now over. Check us out next session and uh peace on out. Alright, latest. Peace.